Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of eleven new pieces to share with you. Let's get started with the news on diet. Research from Ohio State University, published in NPJ Science of Food, shows that even short-term consumption of a high-fat diet affects memory in older rats. The molecule. IL-1 beta appears to be responsible for this memory impairment when on a high-fat diet. University of Copenhagen discovered that in adult brains, healthy glial cells from human embryonic stem cells can outcompete and replace disease cells, even older healthy ones. This suggests a promising therapy to replace aged and diseased glial cells in the brain. The study was published in Nature Biotechnology. A study from the University of Queensland, published on Nature Cell Biology, found that in C. elegans, the ATFS1 protein safeguards mitochondrial DNA, leading to improved longevity and protection against age-related declines. It helps maintain a balance between genome expression and mtDNA repair for healthier aging. Next part is about the brain. A study published on GeroScience suggests that focusing on mitochondria in the brain's tiny blood vessel could be a way to treat aging. The rejuvenating effects of SS31, an antioxidant peptide, might be connected to widespread changes happening in the body's protein as we age. On molecular psychiatry, a study suggested that elevated serotonin levels in the brain may be a marker of poorer aging outcomes, accompanied by increased depression symptoms over time. And the study is from Brandeis University, USA. In terms of biological clocks, Brian Kennedy's team created a simplified version of the biological age clock that can predict aging and age-related diseases effectively in clinical settings. This general science approach identifies mechanisms related to biological aging, offering potential targets for preventive medicine to slow down the aging process and age-related diseases. Scientists from USA created new clocks to measure how different parts of the body age, predicting age-related conditions and outcomes better. This could help personalize ways to improve quality of life as we age with just a single blood test. The study is now available online. On the relation between aging and cancer, researchers discovered a common epigenetic signature between aging and cancer, linked to cell replication. This signature increased with age, distinguished cancer from normal tissues. The study is on science advances from Yale University of Medicine. Scientists from the University of Montreal identify synolytics that can target and remove aging cells in muscle conditions, offering a potential way to improve muscle function in DM1 patients. Nature Communication has all the details. Integrated biosciences and researchers at the University of California, Santa Barbara, have created a drug discovery platform that can control the integrated stress response. This pathway triggers by various health issues and aging. It's now targeted using synthetic biology and machine learning techniques. Finally, on communications biology from Harvard Medical School, researchers found that healthy aging influences the circadian rhythms of blood lipid levels in older adults, causing changes in timing and intensity compared to younger adults. This highlights how aging can affect our body's natural regulation of lipid levels throughout the day. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you find these updates informative and inspiring. We'll see you next week. Wishing you a happy and long life.